Good evening. My name is Clarence Banks, and I serve as the founding director of the Center for Black Culture and Student Success at Mount San Antonio College. The center's mission is to create a holistic learning environment for all members of the African diaspora at Mount San Antonio College. The bedrock component of the center is our Emoja Aspire program. As director, I also oversee the Emoja Aspire program. It is in this capacity that I welcome you to the Emoja Aspire end of the year celebration. Emoja Aspire is a dynamic program designed to provide essential educational support and services to increase the academic success, retention, degree completion, and transfer rates of African-American and other students enrolled at Mount San Antonio College. We accomplish this through monthly workshops, academic counseling, and learning communities. The aim of the center in general, but Emoja Aspire in particular, is to develop a sense of community among students, faculty, staff, and administrators. Every year we recognize our students who are either graduating with a degree from Mount SAC, transferring to a university to complete their education, or in some cases, recognizing students who are both graduating and transferring. Our students are truly diverse. They represent different skin colors, genders, identities, and religious beliefs. Some are quiet and some not so much. Some finished in two years and some needed more time. However, the one thing they all have in common is they are our family. So I am overjoyed that you have taken the time out of your busy schedules to join us in this virtual environment. Our program tonight will be short and sweet. It is our students' opportunity to thank their supporters for helping them on their educational journey. It is an opportunity for Emoja Aspire to say thank you for being a part of our family. So sit back, relax, as we celebrate the achievements of some of our beloved students. Graduation from college, what a great achievement. I'm Bill Scroggins, I'm the president of Mount San Antonio College, and it's my pleasure to give you congratulations on achieving this graduation from Mount SAC. And it is an achievement. In your life experiences, you will remember this experience and it will pay benefits to you going forward, whether it's uh, leading you to direct a work on a great job, whether you're headed to the university, this will be a step forward in your career, in your life, and in your relationships with your friends, your colleagues, your family, who have been part of your support system during these days. It's been a pleasure for Mount San Antonio College to be here for you. I know for me, it was a big step forward to just to go to college. I graduated from La Puente High School, and my college days were challenging as well, but rewarding going forward. I ask just one thing of you, as you go forward, remember Mount SAC. And as you're thinking of Mount SAC, come back and talk to us and help those who follow in your footsteps to have the access to your story to know that as you did, they will be successful here at Mount SAC. And again, congratulations. Good evening, I'm Tom Malk, Associate Vice President of Student Services. I'm also alum at Mount SAC. I received my bachelor's degree from Cal Poly Pomona in psychology and my master's degree from Cal State Fullerton in clinical psychology. Um, I just want to say how proud I am of all of you transferring or receiving your uh, degree here at Mount SAC. Uh, we are also very proud of you. And if I could give you one piece of advice um, in terms of transferring uh, to a university, please make sure you don't try to do it alone uh, ask for help, whether it's tutoring or whatever it is you may need, uh, financial aid help, but also to network, to join organizations, um, join clubs that are part of your major. Uh, there are a lot of different organizations and clubs on campus, and it's really important you to connect with the university, and that will help you in terms of your progress towards your bachelor's degree. And uh, lastly, once again, I just want to say um, how proud I am of all of you. 
for all the hard work you've done here at Mount SAC. We know you'll do well at the university and uh, wishing you the very best. Hello everyone, my name is George Bradshaw. I serve as Dean for Enrollment Management at Mount San Antonio College. Uh, my alma maters, uh, I've got three I wanna mention. Crenshaw High School, go Cougars. I did my undergraduate and master's work at Cal State San Bernardino. And then I got my PhD at the University of Utah in Salt Lake City, go Utes. I'd like to congratulate you on your successes. I know many of you are receiving the first of many higher educational markers. The associate's degree that you've accomplished, or whether it's a certificate or a transfer that you received, is just the first of many more to come. I say that not to put pressure on you, but instead to remind you of what it took for you to be successful here, because you'll need those skills to do that again at your next step. Uh, you know how to overcome obstacles. I'm sure there were many times along your educational journey at Mount SAC that you felt like you might uh, have been at a stopping point. There are any number of things that can get in the way. The car broke down, the babysitter can't make it, my child is sick, I'm sick, I'm tired. Uh, I don't feel like reading that next chapter. Uh, my favorite sports team is playing right now and I'd really rather watch the game. Uh, I, I have to go to work, the pandemic, uh, sickness, deaths even. So I know there's a lot on everybody's plate and you persevered and you overcame. So celebrate that success. You didn't quit, you didn't give up, you not only survived, but you thrived. Uh, you embraced the educational challenge and you learned that nothing worth having is likely to come easy. Uh, so as you depart Mount SAC, I want you to treat this like any other good family uh, gathering. Uh, I want you to take a big plate back with you, take a big plate of all the good food that you got at Mount SAC that helped you grow and thrive. I want you to take it home and to share it with your loved ones. I want you to pack up a healthy serving of a can-do attitude a big thing of love, support, understanding of hard work. And I want you to share that with your communities that you return to, because it's only through our collective belief and support will we all achieve. And know that you're, we are always here for you. So if you ever want to come back to Mount SAC for a second or third or fourth or fifth helping, we will be here to make sure you get all that you need. All the best to you and your family from all of us here at Mount SAC. Hello everyone, I'm Francisco Dorame. I serve as the Dean of Counseling here at Mount San Antonio College. I just wanna congratulate all of you for your accomplishments and achievements here at Mount SAC. We're really proud of you for all that you've done and accomplished. Uh, kn knowing now that uh, you're moving on to uh, four-year universities, uh, know that, uh, take that uh, work ethic that you've built here at Mount SAC, continue to, uh, you know, surround yourself around peers, uh, mentors that will continue to assist you, uh, you know, growing at that university. And congratulations to all of you and, you know, wishing you all the best. The students recognized tonight are truly exceptional. In the midst of the three pandemics of COVID-19, financial burdens and issues of social justice, our students have persevered. In recent weeks, our nation has endured tragedies in Vivaldi, Texas, Orange County, California, and Buffalo, New York. As they read their textbooks, they have been confronted with these images of pain and suffering. Our students have remained steadfast in the struggle for social justice, tying together the symbiotic relationship between the fight for education and the fight for freedom. They studied, engaged, protested, persevered, and succeeded. Dr. George Washington Carver once said, education is the key to unlock the golden door of freedom. Kofi Annan once said, education is a human right with immense power to transform. On its foundation rests the cornerstone of freedom, democracy, and sustainable human development. Dr. King once said, let freedom reign. Tonight, we are happy to share one of my favorite performances by the choirs of Mount San Antonio College with their selection of Let Freedom Ring. This was composed by Ken Burton and performed in conjunction with Oakwood College of Alabama. Please enjoy. Let freedom ring, let freedom ring, oh ring, from the hills to the valleys, let freedom ring. Free. 
freedom ring, ring that freedom ring, ring that freedom every voice shall be exalted. Let freedom ring, let freedom ring, ring that freedom ring, ring that freedom ring. Freedom ring, ring that 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 freedom ring, that freedom ring, that freedom ring, that freedom ring, ring that freedom ring, ring that freedom I'm Ashley Spencer. Congratulations. We did it. We made it. Um, I'm a psychology major at Mount Sac. I'm going to be attending the University of California, Riverside in the fall, um, attending their uh, sociology program for social psychology. I wanted to say a big thank you to the Emoja Aspire team. I appreciate all the love and support and guidance that I've gotten throughout this time at Mount Sac. Um, without you guys, I probably wouldn't be here right now. So I appreciate it. Um, thanks again to everybody and a huge congratulations. Hi everyone, my name is Tracy Ebwe. I am a counselor in general counseling and I'm celebrating my fifth year as an Emoja Aspire counselor. My educational journey has been a wild one, but I was able to complete my bachelor's of arts degree from UC Davis, double majoring in communication and sociology with an emphasis in social services. I continue my education to complete my master's degree from the University of Laverne, majoring in educational counseling to be a counselor. <laughs> But I didn't always know I wanted to be a counselor. Actually, right out of high school, I had no idea what I wanted to be. So I knew that even though I didn't know what I wanted to be and what I wanted to do, education was the path. So 
I worked really hard, completed my bachelor's degree, and then looked around and thought, now what? I kept hitting hurdle and hurdle and barrier and barrier. I fell down a couple of times, but what helped me get through was finding mentor, community, and support groups to help me through. I truly believe that's the key to surviving college life. So if there's any tip, any advice, any words of wisdom, is to get connected and ask for help and get support. That's been a success for me, and I hope it's a success for you as you move forward. And as the great philosopher, Miss Frizzle once said, you gotta take chances, <laughs> make mistakes, and sometimes get messy. And it could turn out really well, so don't be afraid. Congrats and good luck. Hi, my name is Miranda Winding. Um, I'm majoring in political science and I'm gonna be transferring to UCLA this fall. Some advice I would give to future Mojo Aspire students is to utilize your resources. There are several people on this campus, especially in the Mojo Aspire program that wanna see you succeed and that wanna help you reach all of your goals and make sure you're on track. So I'd suggest that you utilize all of them and let them be a guide to you. And if you have any problems in life or on campus, make sure that you go to the people that are there for you because everyone needs a support system and some people might not have it at home, but you do have it at the Mojo Inspire program. And I'm grateful that I've had that support and that I could come to several people in here with any problems that I'm facing, any challenges, personal or school related, and know that my voice is being heard and that people understand me. So yeah, just utilize your resources and go Bruins. Hello, Jamar Walker here, uh, counselor for the Moja Aspire program here at Mount San Antonio College. Um, I've earned my bachelor's in, in business management uh, with my uh, master's degree coming in college counseling, which brings me here today. Um, I'm here today to congratulate you all on this wonderful, wonderful achievement um, in earning your degree or transferring. Um, it, it's something to be, it's an achievement to be recognized, appreciated, and hopefully your family, your friends, and your network is doing the same and giving you praise because it's a major achievement. Some of the best words of wisdom that I could say that I could offer um, in terms of if, for those of you who are transferring or even transitioning in, into your career, um, trust the lessons that you learned while you was here at Mount San Antonio College. Um, those long nights of studying, the challenges with different projects, um, those various things are going to help. The skills that's learned from those various things are going to help propel you while you're in your other courses or at the transfer school. Um, those, those, the understanding of being able to connect with your instructor um, and establish that relationship um, by visiting their office meetings. Um, some of the, 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 the fundamental skills in being able to work with other students in your, in your class for small group work. Um, those are some of the skills that you can you, you could take with you, not just being here, you could take with you while you go to transfer. Um, those are some of the skills of success um, that, 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 that I hope that you all embody when you're on your next step. Like I said before, it's a major achievement. Um, one other uh, words of wisdom or advice that I would say is, is be re relentless on your pursuit um, to get to your career. Okay, um, no one else is gonna is gonna push you. You 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 have to uh, develop that self uh, perseverance and keep working on developing that that self perseverance because life is gonna keep coming. Um, different challenges, different things come up, but you're gonna need to stay on track. And how to do that is immerse yourself in their environment at your four year. Um, when I mean immerse yourself, that's taking advantage of the tutoring services, going into the cultural centers, um, working with the career center, with the career centers on, on your campus, maybe possibly exploring study abroad programs, all those various things, they're there for the college for you to take advantage of because it helps build you, not just academically, but as a, a professional and at personally as well. So I really hope that all for you when you go to transfer to your next step. I'm extremely proud of you all. Uh, once part of Moja Mount San Antonio College uh, uh, program, Aspire program, once you're part of the family, you're always part of the family. So at any time, please come back. We'd love to hear about 
what what great things or challenges you are having, um, um, if, if you are having any. And just congratulations to y'all. It's a major achievement. Um, I wish nothing but the best for you. And congratulations and keep going. Hi, my name is Tania Krim, and I will be receiving an AA in sociology and transferring to Cal State LA this fall. I wanna give a huge shout out to my family, my friends, and my boyfriend. I wanna thank you guys so much for believing in me and pushing me to the end. Um, I know I feel like I've made it, but I feel like at the same time, we've all made it. And I wouldn't be here without you guys. And I also wanna give a huge shout out to the Emoja Spire program for help guiding me and finding the right path for me to continue as a first generational student. A lot of things are gonna seem scary, um, but you just have to do it and remain true to yourself. Thank you guys so much. And I'm gonna miss Mount Sac a lot. <laughs> Hello, graduates and transfers. My name is Erin Preston and I'm the program specialist for the Emoja Aspire program. I'm an alumni from Cal Poly Pomona with my bachelor's in psychology, and I'm currently getting my master's in psychology research and data analysis from APU. My journey in education was not easy, but thankfully I had a strong support system and community that helped me be able to succeed. You'll be starting your own journey soon, and it's going to be scary, but please don't let that stop you. I was terrified when I first started. There was barely anyone who looked like me and I felt like I had no business being where I was. But please know that representation always matters. Black students in higher education are severely underrepresented. So your presence means more than you will ever know. So just know that we are so proud of you. So on behalf of the Mojo Aspire program, congratulations, you did it. Congratulations to the entire Umoja Aspire family. You've made it. This has been an amazing year of triumphs, of hard work, of making things happen. Just like Jackie Robinson, we're not only just breaking barriers, we're making the world that we want. Hello, my name is Gina Brown, and my major is liberal studies. I want to transfer to either Cal Poly Pomona or APU, but I will take the fall semester off to weigh my options and to visit the campuses. What I want to say to incoming students is first, to find out all the resources that are available to you and then utilize all the resources because they are helpful. Congratulations, Mount Sac Amoja class of 2022. My name is Eugene Mahmoud and I am an instructor of physics and engineering at Mount San Antonio College. I received my undergraduate degree in aerospace engineering from UC San Diego and graduate degrees in mechanical engineering from the California Institute of Technology. And I wanted to send my blessings and praises and congratulations to you and your family for your outstanding academic success here at Mount SAC. To be black in higher education to be in community college during this past two years has no doubt been a challenge. And I see you all as the champions of this institution and trailblazers for your work and your continued success. And I hope that you continue to experience joy and fulfillment as you work towards your academic and professional goals. Peace. Greetings, Moja Aspire students. Congratulations on transferring. Congratulations on graduating. My name is Dr. Jeremy Hart. I'm a professor here at Mount San Antonio College, a professor of counseling. I also work closely with the Emoji Aspire program. My alma maters are Long Beach City College, Cal State Dominguez Hills, and USC, where I earned my doctorate degree. Uh, advice I want to give you all as you go out, transfer, graduate from Mount Sac, uh, don't stop. Don't stop and never forget. Never forget who you were when you stepped foot on this campus and don't stop when you think that you've reached the mountain. You haven't. We wanna keep going, we wanna keep progressing. I'm so proud of you all as you have attained this goal, have you attained this degree, have you transferred to the next step, to the next level. Don't stop, always remember who you are, always remember that someone is watching you're inspiring the next generation. Continue on being great. Congrats. How you doing? My name is Trey Marini. I'm originally from Denver, Colorado. 
I came out to Mount San Antonio College to continue my academic and athletic career. Uh, I played DN and outside backer for the football team and studied kinesiology and social science. I transferred out this spring actually, and I've been getting looks for um, San Diego State, Sacramento State, and North Carolina Central to continue my academic and athletic career there. Um, they're all Division One schools where I plan to also take my athletic career as far as I can take it. And um, I actually plan on changing my major from kinesiology to communications where I'll take that into law school. Um, coming here to Mount Sac has been one of the craziest, but one of the most blessed times I've ever had. Um, I've probably been in a number of 10 different houses. I've moved out of 10 different houses. <laughs> I've been evicted, I've been homeless, I've slept in my car, I've slept with 12 people in one room. It's It's been out, it's, it's just been all over the place. And uh, during this whole experience, it has nothing but humbled and just taught me so many different lessons. Uh, being a part of the Aspire program has also just been like my second family. Uh, there's no other place that I actually can go where I feel so accepted and feel so loved. Um, all of my ideas and goals just flourish here. And every time I come here, my cup just feels so full after leaving. Um, it's just such a positive environment and it just influences me to keep going and just don't stop. And I know that I have people backing me up. I've always been told that it takes a village to get through college and without the Aspire family, I don't know, I don't know where I'd be right now. Um, right now, my, one of my biggest goals is to make honor roll here as an athlete. It's something that I've actually never really was able to do in high school. Um, it, it's, it's been a crazy journey just coming up to this point. Uh, I've been homeless twice. I was homeless in high school and, um, I've just always been fighting for me and my family. My family, they, they fight so hard to support me and support my goals as well, while also trying to support my eight other siblings. Um, this is just a, this is a, it's, this has been a crazy, it's been a crazy journey. And I'm just so blessed to actually be in this fire program because I don't know where I would be right now. And um, the help that I got from them is, is almost been ordained. And uh, all I can say is God bless them. And just, it's just thank you for the experience here. Um, I always will plan to come back and give back to the program that helped me out. And um, yeah, I just I just love it here. And um, I just can't wait to see where I can go because wherever I go, Mount Sac Aspire family will follow. Hi, my Aspire family. This is Malika Houston. I am Substitute Administrative Specialist 3 with the Much Aspire program. I wanted to wish you guys a congratulation on this milestone. Even if you think it's small, it's a really big one. You guys went through something none of us else has to get your degrees, which was a whole pandemic. Um, and high racial tensions that you had to navigate by yourself during that pandemic. You guys are amazing. And we couldn't be more and more proud of you guys. Um, keep going on to do bigger and better things and don't forget to come back and tell us as you do. Hey everybody, my name's Aaron Evans, a computer science major here at Mount San Antonio College, graduating class of 2022. I'd first like to say thank you to the Aspire Emulsion family for supporting me throughout this journey. And I'd like to say congratulations to all of us getting through along this journey. I'm happy to announce that I'll be transferring out to Cal State University of San Bernardino in this fall. Go Coyotes. I would also like to give a thank you to MMI to help me to help support me along this journey. I won't say that they were as quite as cool as the Aspire family, but I know those are my brothers who love me nonetheless. Now the thank you list can go on for a long time, including the staff and faculty who helped me get through, the professors who stayed on me to turn in those late assignments, and the professors who are still on me to still turn in those late assignments. But they said I only have about a minute and a half. With that, I'd also like to say that I'm happy that I had the village to support me throughout this journey. As I always like to say, it takes a village to get through higher education, so we do it together. And I'm happy that they were able to support me through my journey through higher education. So once again, congratulations to the class of 2022. We finally made it. Hello, my name is Carolyn Robinson, and I am a professor in the Physics and Engineering Department at Mount SAC. Congratulations, graduates, on a job well done. 
you are graduating and transferring. This is a major milestone in your educational achievements and you should celebrate and be celebrated. Graduates, you are the future. And sometimes that phrase is said as a cliche, but I want you to know that you truly are the future because now you understand the value of an education and you will be able to experience certain benefits in life that will open more doors of opportunities as a result of your education. As you reap those benefits, you will serve as a role model for those in your communities and that will motivate those individuals to pursue after education as well. Make one of your missions in life to position yourself to motivate someone else and help them achieve their educational goals. In our communities, each one should teach one. Bring others along so that we can, one person at a time, improve the conditions within our communities. I am so happy for you and so proud of your accomplishments. Always remember, someone is watching you, always. Be positive and be an impactful role model. Hello there, this is Dr. Chris Dixon II, and I am the director of our international student program here at Mount SAC. And my doctorate is in educational leadership from Cal State Fullerton, where I also got my master's uh, in higher education. And before that, quite some time ago, I got a bachelor's from Cal State Dominguez Hills. And even before that, I started at Santa Monica College before I transferred. So I was once in your shoes as a transfer student. So congratulations to you all. You've done it, whether that's completing the year, earning your degree, or getting ready to earn your degree, getting ready to transfer. Big shouts, big congrats. You did it. You got there. And if I can give one piece of advice, if I may, and I'm not the one that likes to give advice, um, but I'll do, I'll, I'll acquiesce. Um, wherever you go, whatever you do, just make sure you understand that you're not alone. And you wanna always seek community uh, wherever you go. Uh, seek community, maintain that community and grow that community. Um, in whatever way it needs to be, wherever it needs to be, whether it's on campus, at work, in a community, through church, community, community, community. I think one of the regrets that I had when I was in your shoes was thinking I had to get it all out the mud by myself. I had to figure it all out. I had to be a big man. I had to figure it all out. When really, if I would have asked for help, it would have made my experience, especially early on in college, much more pleasurable, much easier. If I would have had that mentorship, if I would have had that guidance, uh, I still got there, but I, I kind of went the long way. <laughs> So wherever you go, just make sure you understand that you're not alone and seek that community and stick to it. And then also, wherever you go, just make sure you demand your presence. Some of you may be going uh, to what we call, which is a technical term, a PWI. That's a predominantly white institution. Um, irrespective of where you're at, just make sure you, ha you, you have um, a firm presence never shy away. Um, it doesn't matter. Speak your truth. Speak from your heart. Speak your um, from your experience. Um, and just let it be known wherever you go. Um, that's something that I still have to, to contend with even now that I'm a professional and that I'm a, a director and have a doctorate, right? I'm still trying to grow um, and, and make my presence more firm. So when you do that, just remember, uh, you're not alone, seek community, and then make your presence known. So my door is always open to you all. Uh, for now, I'm at 9F. Talk to me in about another year um, <laughs> where, where our center will be located. Uh, but my door is always open. I would imagine the entire campus community is still open to you, um, as well as Clarence and, and the great people with the Emoja Aspire program. Um, but again, I wish you all the very best. It's been great meeting some of you, a few of you, and you'll always be family. Congratulations again and take care.
Hi, my name is Tony Ann Tomlinson, and I'm a commercial flight major. After graduating from Mount Sac this semester, I'll be transferring to Southern Illinois University, where I'll pursue my bachelor's degree in aviation management. Being a part of Umoja Aspire, I felt an immense amount of support, especially as a Black Generation college student. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Felix Jolivet II, and I am in the Geography and Political Science Department. I've been associated in a part of uh, the Aspire program for well over a decade and a half. I am also a uh, faculty advisor with the Minority Male Initiative program. <clears throat> and of course, I am a political science professor. To my dear sisters and brothers, my dear Ujoma and Aspire graduates and transfer students. It is with great pleasure that I extend to you my most sincere congratulations upon your matriculation from Mount San Antonio College. This is a great accomplishment and the beginning of many new experiences and adventures as you continue upon this academic journey, this life journey, through higher education and beyond. <clears throat> I want you to know that I remain confident that you will continue to keep us happy by making us proud of all of your forthcoming accomplishments. I also want you to be comforting, comforting, comforted in knowing that your ancestors, our ancestors, affirm your greatness. They affirm your success and they most certainly affirm your divinity. And through that divine power, you will be able to accomplish anything that your heart desires. I wish you all the very best for peace profound. And I wish you all success beyond your wildest dreams. I'd like to leave you with a couple of pieces uh, one from one of my favorite philosophers, Lao Shu, who lived in ancient China about 600 years before the Common Era, or sometimes we refer to that as before Christ. The second one would be a little piece that I give to my students as they matriculate from my classes, Political Science 1 and Political Science 35. So we'll start with the Lao Shu. Achieve results, but never glory in them. Achieve results, but never boast. Achieve results, but never be prideful. Achieve results because this is quite natural, that you achieve results. Achieving results is the natural way. He who makes a show of himself or she who makes a show of herself is not enlightened. He who boasts achieves nothing. He who brags will not endure. According to the followers of the way, and we may refer to that as the way of heaven, I certainly like to refer to that as the way of our ancestors. The boasting, the bragging, the making a show of oneself, the self-righteousness, is nothing more than extra food and unnecessary luggage. They do not bring happiness. Therefore, the sage or wise person avoids them at all costs. As you're leaving this journey, um, I would like to give you a small piece that I give to my students 
upon leaving my class or my classes. I refer to my students as mighty scholars, and I have a family of these mighty scholars. I consider you all mighty scholars as well. Uh, I want you to know that this is the mighty scholar creed. The improvement of the human condition begins with you, the individual. Go ye therefore and positively affect the world because that is your assignment to positively affect the world, positively affect your people, or positive, positively affect the world. I love you mighty scholars and if this was not so, would I have taught with so much passion. See you around like a donut. Hello, my name is Keyshawn Gray and I'm proud to announce that my journey here at Mount Sac is coming to an end. I'm graduating with a kinesiology degree and transferring to Cal State Fullerton where I will further my education. I just wanna say it's been a great experience here at Mount Sac and it was made easier and better with the great decision of me to join the program Aspire. Aspire offered everything that I needed in a program from great guidance to resources to the mentors to the access to great events to be a position and meet successful people. It has been an amazing experience just overall. They offer a great comfort zone. Clarence has done a great job and I wanna give you a personal thanks for the great job that you have done in providing students on campus with an amazing space to get their work done, feel comfortable and feel like they matter on campus. They, he's always ensured that every student's voice was heard and making the program and the experience in total at Mount Sac better. Um, it's just been an amazing experience. I wanna give a special thanks to Jamar Walker as well. He is a counselor in the Aspire program. He has worked hand in hand with me and providing me with the guidance and ensuring that all my classes were set up straight. Um, being that uplifting spirit because there have been times to where I didn't know if I was gonna be able to continue this journey. And that's what they provide at the program, you know, that uplifting spirit, that encouragement to keep you on the right. Greetings, graduates. My name is Batiste Marcel Gilmore. I am a researcher here at Mount San Antonio College. Um, I was a former uh, community college student and I transferred to and graduated from the flagship university, the UC system, UC Berkeley with a degree in sociology. And I later went on and got a master's in African-American studies at UCLA. And I'm currently still working on my doctorate that I'm finishing up. But this is not about me, it's about you. Like I said in the beginning, congratulations. But I leave you with this message as you go out into the world and to your next endeavors. We need you. Whatever the times get tough, we need you. And I like to say this, and I've said it to my own family, my son, my daughter. Many of us survive, have ancestors that survived the Middle Passage. And they, survive, and they survived slavery. They survived the Jim Crow South. They survived the Jim Crow North. In the hopes that it would be better for the descendants. We need you. So as you go forward, understand that it's not just about you, but we need you. Good luck in the future. What's going on, y'all? It's uh, Terrence Pratt, financial aid specialist at Mount Sac. Um, and I'm a, uh, un I had to do my undergrad at Cal State Fullerton, psychology major. Um, so yeah, congrats to y'all. Um, finally uh, about to get up out of here, transfer on. Um, if there's anything that I could say or some advice to you is to um, try to just try to stay connected like you've been doing, I'm pretty sure. That's why you're probably in this, um, in the wonderful Aspire Emoja program. Um, and you know, if if, uh, if you see a fellow brother or sister on campus um, or really anywhere in life, just make sure to try to acknowledge them in a positive light, um, you know, just to give them a head and I'll say what's up. Um, you know, usually that can go a long way. 
I try to do the same whenever I'm around, especially on campus as well. Um, but yeah, in, in a in a pretty pretty crazy world that we live in, you know, just try to spread some love and positivity um, in whatever setting you may be. All right, so congrats, and uh, you know, keep it going. The marathon continues. Peace. Hello, Mounties. I'm Maximus Sweeney, and, and I'm talking to you today in this afternoon through this video. I'm making this video to personally thank few people and programs who have been there for me ever since I started to come to Mount Sac. And this one directly goes to Emoja Aspire. Emoja Aspire has been always been there for me since I ever started Mount Sac. They have taught me what it's like, what it, what it truly means to be a black man the responsibilities and the things I uphold. They taught me how to be, they taught me about my history, my culture, and what it means. That's far beyond my understanding of what I thought of before. And I'm proud that I've gone through this experience. I personally want to thank this video, through this video, I want to personally thank Clarence Banks. He has taught me what it means to be a black man what it, the responsibilities and the duties you have <laughs> and the stereotypes you must break. He's made me proud of myself. He's made me believe in my, the beauty that I have in my people. And I'm proud of my culture and my history. He's, he's always been there for me, just pushing me, telling me to be a better person, asking how I am, asking how I'm doing, asking what I'm doing for school, what are my plans, what are my goals? He's always been there for me, step by step. Never giving up on me, even though when I give up on myself. He motivated me to come back and to keep pushing through. And that's what I did. So I wanted to say thank you to people like him and the Emoja community of Aspire. You guys will always be in my heart, and I won't be who I am without you. Hi everyone, my name is Mercedes Cunningham, and I proudly serve as the Substitute Program Coordinator in the Center for Black Culture and Student Success. Like you, my academic journey started here at Mount Sac, where I earned an associate's degree in psychology and transferred to UC Berkeley, where I earned a bachelor's degree in sociology. My time here at Mount Sac would not have been complete without the Emoja Aspire program. And it was so pivotal to my academic journey that I decided to return here to pay it forward to you all, the future black scholars of America. <laughs> it has been such a great honor getting to know you all and I will forever cherish those long and sometimes intense discussions, but also the laughs we shared and the games we've played here in the center. I know that Mount Sac is a stepping stone in your academic and professional journeys, but I hope that you feel proud of what you've accomplished here because the lives that you have touched, the roots that you have formed and the knowledge that you have acquired can never be taken away from you. Beginning a new journey can be scary. However, speaking from experience, y'all are prepared for this. Audre Lorde once said, when I dare to be powerful, to use my strength in the service of my vision, then it becomes less and less important whether I'm afraid. You have the tools within you to be academically successful. You all are bright and resourceful students. So feel those jitters and the nervousness, but persist anyway. You will find your tribe at your new institution, just as you've done here at Mount Zach. Please know that as a family, we are always here to provide support for you. We will always cheer you on as you continue to excel in your lives and represent for our people. And while you continue to reach your goals, don't forget to stop and take a look back to see how far you've come. Because y'all have survived a global pandemic and an epidemic of racial and social injustices, but you have thrived anyway. For those staying in SoCal, you can always come back here to the center. You can pull up to Black Thursdays, or you can just come check in to see a familiar face, to get a welcome hello, and we'll always be here to wrap our arms around you. So we love you, we will miss you, but you got this. Bye y'all.
everyone, I'm Mark Josephson, and I'm transferring this year uh, to Cal State Long Beach. Uh, I would like to give a shout out to the Aspire program and to particularly um, Clarence Banks for being such a big support in my journey through Mount Sac these past few years. Um, I did want to tell you that uh, some advice I have to give to future Aspire students is don't let time be the biggest obstacle you face. Um, if you got to take a break, take a break. Mental health is everything. And sometimes your educational path doesn't go, it's, it's, not, it's never going to be a straight shot. So you might find that you like something else down the line. And it's okay to change up your mind and do what you love. And it takes time and uh, energy to find out what you want to do for the rest of your life. And sometimes it can be one thing, sometimes it can be two or more. And uh, just my personal story, I, I came back here in 2017. Uh, now I'm going to be graduating uh, you know, 2022 uh, spring. Uh, it's been a long journey, you know, through COVID, through everything that's happened. Uh, at one point, I was going to quit on myself, but, you know, thanks to the support programs uh, on campus, I was able to pull through and to uh, find myself as a, as a young man uh, going into the next stage of my educational journey. And, uh, you know, just keep pushing forward because even though when you you kind of hit a rock, it's okay because you usually come back with a life lesson that you can take into another class, another situation, and you go through that situation better. So again, uh, just keep going forward in life and don't let time be your biggest obstacle. Peace out, uh, Beach Brown. <laughs> Greetings, my people. My name is Professor McCall. I am the newest English professor here at Mount Sac and the newest faculty connected to our Umoja Aspire program. First, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I come to you all from the great city of San Diego. My alma mater is SDSU, Aztecs for life. And I'm also a graduate of Grand Canyon University where I earned my master's degree in English education. I just want to chat with you for a bit and tell you how proud I am, how honored I am to have served you all these past two semesters, and just how proud I am that you are graduating and setting yourself apart as a person, a Black person of excellence. And I also want to let you know that we need you. We need you in every space, in every place that decisions are being made and wherever you can make a difference. And so don't let this be your end. Let it be a tipping point. Go ahead and get that transfer degree. Go ahead and get that undergrad degree. Go ahead and get that master's degree. Go ahead and get that doctoral degree because there is so much of the world that is waiting for you, just for you. And so again, I'm proud, I'm honored, and Mounties, let's go. Congratulations, class of 2022. I want to thank everyone for joining us tonight. I want to especially thank our students for their achievements and sharing their thank yous with us. I want to thank the family and support systems for our students. Thank you for loving them, supporting them, and allowing them to be a part of our Emoja Aspire family. I would be remiss if I did not thank our president, Dr. Bill Scrobbins, our vice president of student services, Dr. Audrey yamagata Noji, our associate vice president, Tom Malk, our dean of counseling, Dr. Francisco Durame, administrative assistant, Mrs. Deneen Duffin, and the entire Emotion Aspire staff. Without you, none of this is possible. As most of you know, I'm a fan of poetry. As I think of our students and the wonderful places life will lead them, I am drawn to the words of one of my favorite poets, Edgar A. Guest, and his poem, See It Through. When you're up against the trouble, meet it squarely face to face. Lift your chin, set your shoulders, plant your feet and take a brace. When it's vain to try to dodge it, do the best that you can do. You may fail, but you may conquer, see it through. Black may be the clouds about you and your future may seem grim, but don't let your nerve desert you. Keep yourself in fighting trim. If the worst is bound to happen, in spite of all that you can do, running from it will not save you. See it through. Even hope may seem but futile when the troubles you're beset, but remember you are facing just what other men have met. 
You may fail, but fall still fighting. Don't give up whatever you do. Eyes front, head high to the finish. See you through. My name is Clarence Banks, the founding director of the Center for Black Culture and Student Success. Thank you for joining us tonight. Have a good day.